Your enemies are extremely jealous of your gifts and your talents, and they fear your potential. Come on, let me get amen. I'm going to say it again, all your fake friends and fake family members. They fear your potential, brothers and sisters. Your mind was always bigger than your environment. Hit that like button right now if you dream big. This message is going to be powerful. Today, I'm going to open up your mind to these crabs in a barrel. And I want to expose this about a crab in a barrel. See, what I noticed over the years is that hmm, when it come down to the crab, it don't matter how big or how small the crab is. There's still a crab. There's people right now that got more money than you. Amen. They're on a higher level than you, quote unquote, but they still got the mind of a crab. Come on. Let me get an amen. Somebody put the crab emojis down in the chat right now. This is powerful. See, the crabs are dangerous because every time God take you to a new level, they always want to bring you down and pull you down. These are your fake friends, fake family members, and also Satan uses your assigned enemies, people who you don't know, which are crabs, people who can be at your nine to five. Who don't want you to elevate, don't want you to become a manager, or don't want you to uh, enter into corporate. So they would try to find things on you. They'll try to find fault in you. Amen. Hit that like button right now. If the enemy has been looking at your life, trying to find flaws in you, trying to find fault in you, this is a crab in a barrel. And what you have to understand is that this kingdom, right? which is given into the hand of the wicked one is full of these crabs. I'll never forget. As I was chasing my dreams, I began to see people who were doing this before me. And when they saw the elevation, when they saw God leveling me up, they showed their true intentions. So when I preach upon potential, I mean this. You are a threat to your enemy. Somebody put that down in the comment section below. I'm going to say it again. You are a threat to your enemies. Your gifts, your talent is a threat. Potential is what you will become. Amen. It's what you possibly can become. This is what scares them. Just what comes out of your mouth puts fear in the enemy. Just you speaking on your dreams. See, your enemies can see you in that position. Todd, oh, this is powerful. When you told them that you were going to chase your dreams, they knew it was going to come true. But they tried all of the tactics of the devil to try to stop you from chasing your dreams. Has anybody ever done that to you? Has anybody, has anybody ever teamed up against you to conspire Against your life. This is what chosen vessels of God go through. We go through these kind of things. We go through a situation where the enemy was there before you. And when they see you new on the scene, you know, got better ideas, much more wiser. Come on, let me get amen. Much more intelligent, much more sharper. Come on, let me get amen. Powerful, powerful. The enemy get intimidated by your presence. So they would do anything and everything they can to knock you out of position. Somebody put down in the comment section below, the devil is a liar and the truth is not in him. Now, I want to talk about your mindset. See, our minds is bigger than our environment. And when I preach up on these things, a lot of times people will mistake it for thinking that we're saying that we're better than them. Amen. No, 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 no. See, a chosen one of God, we come with a millionaire mindset. Come on, let me get that, man. Somebody put that in the comment section below. I have a millionaire mindset. Somebody put that down there right now. Let me make this clear. See, we don't got to touch the money to be a millionaire. Come on, let me get that, man. Our gifts, our talent, 
our ideas that God has put in us will make us a millionaire. Let me get that man powerful, powerful. See, let me make this clear. God's gift that he placed in your life, brothers and sisters, is going to get you in rooms that your enemies can never get in. See, they think that their money can buy them in the rooms. That's why they're jealous of you. They're jealous because they got all this money and this quote unquote access, but they cannot buy the gifts from you. They cannot access what God has placed in you. So they'll sit back and hate on you and be jealous and try to copy you. These people are truly miserable. See, they want it all ways. But what they don't understand is that God is going to bless us here on earth and in heaven. Why? Because the Bible says the meek shall inherit the earth. Understand this, brothers and sisters, you're going to be rich. You're going to be wealthy. Amen. Why? Because wealth transfers is going to hit your life. See, I preach up on wealth transfers because this is real. The battle is for the enemy to try to distract you and stop you and hinder your progress so you don't receive it. They want to stop, stop the transaction from God. Amen. And I'm here to tell you right now, no weapon formed against your future and destiny shall prosper. Let me take you to scripture. Let me show you how blessed we are. Let's go to Psalms 1.1. It says this. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, do if he meditate day and night. I'm going to stop right there. See, you're all about the most high God's law. You're all about righteousness. You're all about the word of God. Let me show you the reward that's going to come to your life. And it says this, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Let me stop right there. God is saying that you're going to be so blessed to where you're going to be planted by the rivers of water. So when the roots need water and nutrients, amen, you don't got to go out far to get fed. You don't got to go out far, right, to get a drink. Oh, man, this is powerful. In other words, God is saying, because you chose me, because you keep my word, amen, I'm going to be right there next to you. If God is right there next to you when you pray, he can hear every single word you're praying about. God is saying, I'm going to bless you abundantly. Somebody put it in the comment section below. The abundance of blessings. The abundance of blessings is going to hit your life. And let's keep going. And it says this. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You see that? Unlimited blessings. Whatever you do will prosper. This is why they fear you. This is why they envy you. This is why they're mad and upset because everything you touch turn gold. Somebody put that down in the comment section below. Somebody put down everything I touch turn gold. I want you to take a look at your life. I want you to look at your life, brothers and sisters. If you are not in your breakthrough right now, don't worry. Never for a second in your mind think that you don't have value just because you don't have money. Brothers and sisters, God is going to bless you abundantly. It ain't about the money. It's about your potential. You have a million dollar mindset. God just told us in his season, in her season, when your season comes, God is going to match your potential. That's when the wealth is going to be released to your life. Patience. Amen. Obedience and sacrifice. Allow God to work out these things for you. Listen to me. The people are going to see it. I'm going to tell you the truth. A lot of people you see on these YouTube platforms, wherever the case may be, they doubted me when I first came out. They didn't think I had value in my life until God started prospering me. And then a light bulb came on. And see, normally a hater, if they're jealous of you and envious, they'll deny you at first. And then after that, 
they'll start trying to copy you. See, these people are crabs in a barrel, brothers and sisters. But God will never prosper them. Why? Because it's not meant for them to walk in my shoes. Oh, man, this is powerful. See, the enemy want to take shortcuts to someone else's destiny. That's the problem. You can't destiny swap with the chosen one. They can't have your life. Brothers and sisters, let me get amen. Powerful. No matter how hard they try to mimic you and be just like you. God did not ordain them to walk in your destiny. And if the roles were reversed, God did not ordain me to walk in their destiny. In other words, in order to operate at 100%, you have to operate in a season that God designed for you. This is powerful. Come on, let me get amen. My blessings is my blessings and your blessings is your blessings. The moment that people get this understanding, the world will be a better place. Somebody put down in the comment section below. Get your own blessings. All praises to the most high.